Hey, you're watching. Hey guys, welcome back to Live Love Line. It's Teresa, and today I'm going to be talking about a requested topic Japanese pronunciation. Japanese pronunciation is often regarded very simple, and therefore people tend to just brush it under the rug and speak with their own natural habits. Truth is, though, that although Japanese pronunciation is comparably much easier, there are some points you have to pay attention to to be able to sound more natural and more native. Without further ado, let's talk about our five tips. Number one, a i u e o. We only have these vowels, so don't pronounce things away from these five. There's no long A, short I, diphthong sound. It's simply these five and how it's written. Stick to the book with this. This includes intonation. Say it exactly as these original vowels. Example, some people say otashi wa or otashi wa, where the vowels are dragged out and up or down, whereas in Japanese the vowels stay the same. No intonation change. Otashi wa. Number two, each syllable is pronounced with the same amount of time and generally sounds like it's being cut off at the end. E, e, u, u. Even in the example to meet, you have two vowels and they both occupy the same amount of time. A, u, a, u. Number three, every syllable is pronounced. Even double letters are pronounced, elongating the sound. For example, in this train station name, Okayama, Okayama. Number four, both U and O are used to elongate O sounds. This is the same with the letter I or I after an E. For example, in the words, Muko, Muko, and Toke, Toke. Number five, and our last tip, is Japanese is a bit nasal. So when you speak Japanese, you want to speak it from your nose and not so much your chest like how we speak in English. This is why people tend to speak a little bit higher when they speak in Japanese. Irasaimase! So instead of, Onegaishimasu, you can say, Onegaishimasu! <laughs> okay, that's it. I also want to make a video later about the differences between girl speech and boy speech. If you want to see that, let us know in the comment section below and subscribe with notifications so you can't miss it when it comes. That brings us to the end of the video. And I don't need to tell you what to do, right? If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend in need, and subscribe to see similar content. We'll see you next week. Bye!